Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Continuing with Reverse Rebirth, we're going through to the next world. We finished Agrabah last time, so now we can go to Monstro, Traverse Town, or Neverland. I want to go to Traverse Town, because even though the Guard Armor card sucks, and the enemies are really easy to deal with, there's, there's a reason I'm doing Traverse Town, and it has to do with the deck we're handed. Welcome to Traverse Town. Riku actually went to Traverse Town. Alright, wait till you see this. Look at our deck. Yeah. Five cards. We have five attack cards in this world. So we're going to be reloading a lot. We also get the Shadow card. Increases the value of all cards by one. I am very surprised we did not get one of those in Sora's story, but it's okay. So yeah. Incredibly terrible deck, and then we've got to go down the small passage of enemies, basically. That's why I wanted to do this after Agrabah. So yeah, we already have to reload. Thankfully, because there's only five cards, reloading takes almost no time. It's still really stupid, though. Yeah, we get a level up this early, that's nice. Uh, we'll do HP. So yeah, when life hands you a terrible deck like this, just make the most of it, I guess. Thankfully the enemy swarms are only have a few enemies to deal with, but still. Five cards in one deck? Are you serious, designers? Are you serious, Square Enix? What made you think that was a good idea? I almost want to just declare Traverse Town a dud world and just not even fight the enemies in this world, but alas, that's not going to be possible. Also, Dark Riku has very little point in this world since he can't even really use slates because you only have five cards, and using one of those cards for a slate leaves you with pretty much no deck left. And the sad thing is, this five card deck is not even the worst deck in the game. Because although there's only five cards, at least those five cards are decent values. Some some worlds, looking at you, Atlantica, have decks that are basically unusable. They're that bad. All right. So one thing I guess we could show off status. If you go here, we've got four different slates we can use. Dark Break. Leap into the air and attack enemies from above. Only available in dark mode. Free soul eaters, value 5 to 15. Dark Fireaga. Expel dark energy in a searing blast. Only available in dark mode. Free soul eaters, whose value is 16 to 25. Then Dark Aura. Rush enemies repeatedly with blade in hand. Only available in dark mode. We need free soul eaters, whose total value is 27. Free 9 cards. Yeah. Then the king restores HP and stuns and deals damage to all enemies. Two of them, then if you have three of them, the keen restores a lot of HP and stuns and deals damage to all enemies. Free keen cards. Level up, we are boosting attack power, without a doubt. I think that'll actually really help us in this world. Because a lot of the times the Heartless will have to put one or two HP left. When I use the Dragon Maleficent card, of course. Alright, that should be the last Heartless, which means we can go to the boss room. Five or higher, green, stagnant space, and then the key for gates. You guys remember the guard armor? Oh no, he has high valued cards, eh? And again, five cards in the deck! This is gonna stink. Let's make him crumble with the Mickey card. Not to be confused with the Kane Mickey card. Thank you, Dra Wow, the Dragon Maleficent card really makes that battle a lot easier. Holy cow, okay, I forgot how easy the guard armor is. Wow, he was a pushover. And now we get the guard armor card, which slightly extends our attack range, which kind of stinks. 
But again, I only did this world second because I really didn't want it to be a large world where we only have five cards at our disposal. Plus, the enemies don't give you a whole lot of experience, even if you do it last, because they're all weak enemies. Come on. You. I repeat, who needs trampolines? No one. Certainly not Riku. I guess I'll use it, though. Alright, last room. Two or higher. Might as well. We have a few Team of Darknesses. And this episode's been really short, so let's fight a lot of Heartless. No, my experience! Man, Riku has like no horizontal m movement when he's jumping. Oh well, we gotta level up anyways. DP. Why not? Some people argue DP is the best, besides attack power. I disagree, I think HP is better. But still, the way I am right now, if I enter Dark Riku mode, it's like, oh, well that'll last, that'll last about an hour before it breaks. <laughs> Also, as you probably guessed, Riku can't get enemy cards from battles like Sora can. I love how powerful Riku is now. That one increase in attack power really makes a huge difference. Oh, my experience! Thank you. Thank you, Riku, for being so fast when you're on foot. When he's in the air, he's not fast. Wait, that was all the enemies? Really? That did not seem like a Teeming Darkness room, but alright. I will take it. <laughs> oh, cutscene. Oh, hey, Vexen. Riku, I presume? Who are you? Are you with Ansem? You are half correct. Let us say that it's not the Ansem you know. He is Ansem and he is not, which is to say, he is nobody. Nobody, huh? Sorry, riddles aren't my fan. Try making some sense. He belongs to neither the light nor the dark, but walks the twilight between. As do I, and for that matter. Haha, <laughs> that's right. We have much in common. Maybe we do. But so what? Is that an invitation to join your club? Yeah, there's darkness inside me, just like you said. But darkness is my enemy. And you are too for making everything around here reek of it. Oh, so it's a fight you want. Very well, a fight you shall get. We get to fight Vexen this early in the game. As Riku. <laughs> nice going there, Vexen. A plus. And we get our Castle Oblivion deck back, which is nice. Man, you're being annoying, Vexen. A zero-valued item card? That is terrible. Who would want a zero-valued item card? You literally have to wait for them to reload if you want it to work. Oh, I'm almost in dark mode. Oh, but it doesn't actually use my Mickey Mouse slate. That's terrible. Hang on, I think I have three nine cards in here somewhere. I still say that uh, Vexen sounds like a clown.
Oh yeah, Dark Aura, baby. That's what it looks like. It's pretty boss. Man, Vexen, you are... Actually, he's doing a better job than he did in Sora Story, because in Sora Story, both times, we obliterated him with Fire Raid. Dark Fire God is not as powerful as I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Riku's like, I hate darkness, it's my enemy. Riku immediately goes into Dark Form. How do you like that? Whoa! Oh yeah, that's right, Vexen used Auto Life. That's why he got his a lot of HP back. And now I'm not in Dark Mode anymore! So we actually get a proper fight against Vexen this time. No fire raid cheesing your way through it. There we go, he's down. But as usual, we don't get anything for beating him, at least in terms of cards. Let's boost HP again. Ha ha ha! This battle has made it clear. The darkness coursing for you is a tremendous power. All you needed was the right provocation. Great, so this was a trick. Precisely. Your fiery reaction provided just the data I needed. You have my thanks, Riku. Uh-huh. So I guess that's what he's going to use to actually make his Riku replica, which is what's, who's going to bother Sora in his story. So that's kind of cool. I, I like how the two plots of the different stories intertwine with each other. It's really nice. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. I think we will head to Monstro next. I think that would be a good choice. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.